Pastor. Meanwhile, the Derek Williams case sparked a very public campaign from a Kenosha man that is now growing. As WISN 12 News' Marianne Lyle shows us, the death of his own son has motivated him to act. A Kenosha man is stepping up for two Milwaukee families and their search for justice. Michael Bell's own son was shot and killed by Kenosha police in 2004 during a traffic stop. So he identifies with the mothers of Derek Williams and Darius Simmons. It's an empty feeling. It's horrible. And so that's why I... I'm, I'm raising the awareness on this. I don't want people to have to go through that. 21-year-old Michael Edward Bell's death was ruled justified. Derek Williams' death while in Milwaukee police custody was recently ruled a homicide by the medical examiner. And that's when 17 billboards questioning officer-involved investigations were purchased by Bell. Then, on Friday, the Milwaukee Fire and Police Commission ruled officers did not violate policies or procedures when keeping 13-year-old Darius Simmons' mother in a squad to interview her after police say her son was shot and killed by a neighbor. I went to the, uh, one of the billboard companies I'm working with and I said, how much rema remaining inventory do you have? And they said, we have 26 additional billboards. And I said, I'll take them all. And you won't just be seeing more of these billboards. This time, the Bell family is trying to send a message to Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett. The new billboard's going to say, when police kill, where is the mayor? You see that billboard? You pick up your cell phone. You call the mayor's office and say, Mayor, what are you doing about this? 43 billboards for millions to see. And until a change is made in policy or personnel, this father says he is not backing down. In Milwaukee, Marianne Lyles, WISN 12 News.